This screencast provides an overview of some of the major features of the iHuman Case Player. The iHuman Case Player simulates a complete patient encounter from taking a history, assessing vital signs, performing physical examinations, ordering and reviewing tests, and developing a treatment plan. Your patient interview begins with your first impression, even before you ask the first question. How does your patient look, move, and sound? Juan is a thin young man with an intermittent dry cough. Ask, why are you seeking medical help today? If he says something that strikes you as relevant to his diagnosis, add it as a problem cue. Questions in italics with a blank require that you select a qualifier from the drop-down menu. Since Juan said that he is concerned about his cough and being tired and short of breath, select Difficulty Breathing from the menu, then ask him to tell you more about that symptom. <coughs> Questions are organized in this menu tree according to the taxonomy used in most physical exam and history-taking textbooks. You can turn off the sound of your patient's breathing so that you're not too distracted through the rest of the interview. You can also search for questions. Let's find questions about your patient's cough. The patient record contains history of present illness, past medical history, family and social history, review of systems, vitals, physical exam findings, differential diagnosis, and treatment plan. Additionally, it will include records from any prior visits. Notice this icon at the bottom of the screen. It will take you to active learning exercises or simulations relevant to this case. The history evaluation covers whether you asked all the required and pivotal questions, no irrelevant or inappropriate questions, and whether you let the patient complete their initial story. Student performance is evaluated at each step in the patient assessment process. Watch your patient's chest rise and fall and listen to his breathing. Click on the question mark to get help on how to assess vital signs. Your patient's respirations are regular and unlabored at approximately 22 per minute. Mute the sound of your patient's breathing. Click on the sphygmomanometer manometer to take your patient's blood pressure. Pump up the cuff by clicking repeatedly on the bulb. Release the pressure by clicking on the release valve. Your patient's blood pressure is approximately 98 over 60. This is borderline hypotensive. Move your cursor to your patient's left wrist to check his pulse. Note that your cursor turns into a gloved hand. Count for a bit. His pulse is regular at approximately 90 beats per minute. There are 12 different pulse points. Document the pulse rate and regularity. Next, perform a few physical exam. Select Examine Pupils in the Heat category. Pick up the light pen and shine it into each eye. Both eyes are reactive and consensual. Select Perform Ocular Motor Exam. Move your finger in the H pattern while observing his eye movements. His eyes track normally. Select Auscultate Lungs in the chest category. Selecting the icon will highlight anatomical auscultation landmarks. Move your stethoscope to the desired locations and click to listen. Your patient has fine crackles in the bases of both lungs. Note this as a problem cue. Document the selected findings in the physical exam section of the patient record.
click on the Evaluate button to receive an evaluation of your physical examinations. The evaluation notes whether all and only required exams were performed, whether they were correctly performed, characterized, and documented. There are several diagnostic reasoning exercises designed to help students organize the data obtained in the history and physical exams. We'll cover just a few of these in this screencast. Your problem statement is a one to two sentence description that includes your patient's chief complaint or complaints, along with pivotal points relevant to selecting and prioritizing differential diagnosis. Compare your problem statement with that of the expert. Select your problem hypotheses. You can find hypotheses in two different ways. The first method is to browse through the taxonomy of alphabetized pathologies organized by body systems. Click on the desired hypothesis and add it to the box on the right-hand side of the screen. The second method is to search for hypotheses by word or phrase. Rank your hypotheses, indicating which is your leading hypothesis, must not miss hypothesis, and unlikely but still active alternatives. Select tests for your hypotheses. Click on a test and add it to the hypotheses you want to evaluate. Tests must be associated with one or more hypotheses. Select chest x-ray to view the image. Observe that you can zoom in and out of the image, or blow it up to full screen. Select CBC to view the lab report. Select echocardiogram to view the video study. Note that there are several video clips. Select the definitive diagnosis from your initial list of hypotheses and click Evaluate to check your answer. Then proceed to development of your treatment plan. Your treatment plan is free-form text. Compare it to that of the expert. Select Summary to view the case summary and the report on your overall performance. The References tab here includes useful reading references for the case. References in bold letters include web links. Thanks for watching this overview of the iHuman case player.